Hello everyone, welcome. Today I'll show you how to integrate JSON Web Token authentication and protect your routes in your Flask API. The code I have here as a starter is the code from the previous tutorial on how to use bcrypt to hash and store passwords. You can check it in the description below. So first of all, obviously we need to install the Flask uh, JSON Web Token package. I'll be using the Flask JSON Web to Token extended package, which is the most popular one. Uh, that is in use. So I'll, I'll have the link to this page with the documentation on it. Let's pip install the package. After it is done, we need to import the package as well as some parts of it. And I'll explain what each part of it does. There'll be a lot of code copying, copying but I'll explain what it does. So the JSON Web Token Manager uh, basically just holds all the functions and callbacks for uh, the functionality for storing, creating, checking, and protecting routes uh, with JSWeb tokens. JSWeb token required uh, is a, a decorator that you put on a route, so you would put it right here. So you put like JSWeb token required, and that would protect the route. And then create access token is a function you call to create access token. It takes in a few parameters, but the main one is identity, which is what will be put in the token. Usually you put user info though, so like username, email, stuff like that. Get JSWeb token identity is a function you call inside of a route that is protected. It will give you uh, everything you put in identity. So it will give you all the info inside the token. We'll, be, we'll use all of these uh, in this tutorial. So one by one. I'll, I'll be copying the code though, because I don't really like to type code uh, and there's no need to, because you can just copy it as well. So app config JSWeb token secret, that's the secret that is used to encode each web token. It should be something very complex and long and not easily guessable. So uh, whatever, it can be something like this. It doesn't have to have meaning. And then here we define the JSWeb token manager and we attach it to the app. Okay, the next thing we need to do is what we want to do is call the create access token. So in our routes currently, we just return welcome and logged in welcome. Uh, we, we want to change that. So what we want to do here is create the access token. In order to do that, we say uh, token. Well, I can just say uh, access uh, token equals create access token and then as you can see there's this some um, intelligence here but uh we need to define the identity so the identity will equal to a dictionary that will have uh email that will be the email of the user and then what we want to do here is just return this access token uh as access token access token that's it that's what happens when a user registers because this code is going to be the same for logging in we'll do we'll just copy it and put it right here so if a user logs in or registers we'll create an access token the identity and all the data inside of it will be just the email where you can add more stuff you probably will uh, and then we'll return a dictionary which will be converted to a json object uh, the access token and that's it so the next thing we now need, well, but we can test this out. Uh, I think I already created this user in a previous tutorial. I didn't start the server, my bad. Server is on, okay. So if we send this um, user already exists, so if I log in, slash login, logged in, welcome test. Okay, so this is the info to login. So uh, this is not what it's supposed to return. I didn't save. If we now save and do this again, it now gives us an access token. It's gonna be different every time. You can see that, so that's good. What we wanna do now is create a route that will be protected. Uh, so let's just copy like this part and I'll change it. So I'll make a get request to slash test. And then this route's just gonna respond. It's gonna return uh, secret data, right? And then it saves to 100. And then up here, uh, I'll make use of the get identity get json web token identity uh, which will return what is actually in there so and then i'll print this in the console uh we want to put the user okay so the only thing we're missing here is the json web token required decorator 
that's going to protect this route. So now, let's save that. Oh, it should be good. So if we open another tab here in, in our Postman and make a request to slash test, it's going to say missing authorization header. So let's say we do add like a like a fake, like shitty authorization header uh, with, um, with like some bearer uh, non of uh, segments, whatever, it doesn't matter. So what we actually want to do is take this token that we got here after logging in and put it here. And then we get the secret. If this token is compromised, um, invalid payload, blah, blah, blah. So it works. The authentication actually works. If we add like instead of bearer, we add something else. It's gonna tell us bad authorization header, expected value bearer, and then the JSON web token. So it does, um, the authentication does work. And if we check the console here, we can see that it is console logging email and then the email we provided up here when we defined the identity. I jumped out around a bit, but I uh, I hope everything's kind of clear. It's, it's quite simple. Um, you can change a lot of this. So um, you can, if you don't want to send it in the authorization header, but in the body or as a cookie, you can also do that. Um, but I won't be going over that. You can read more about it here. So if you want to put in a cookie, you can go through this. It's it's not that complicated. Um, same goes for query string, JSON body or whatever. Uh, you'll have a link to this page in the description. Hope you learned something new. And now you know how to uh, protect routes in your Flask app using JSON Web Tokens. Thank you for watching and goodbye.